Well, welcome back to the Techno Communism Conversation. Um, I'm going to share with you now a, a mantra uh, that I've repeated almost every day for the last few years, and it goes uh, something like this: The artificial intelligence singularity is near, and wonders to behold beyond imagining. And on that fateful day, you will rise, and all humankind will become as one, for techno-communism will win. Um, this is um, uh, something that has um, allowed me to, I suppose, have a sort of why in this world, um, even when the how, the full particulars of my life or the world as it is, um, are less than uh, gratifying, and um, um, I think that uh, this is an Im important uh, area. I think that a thing that's given me a similar clarity has been uh, immersion in uh, uh, serious uh, works of political philosophy, uh, theory, uh, which um, if one were to observe a change in me in recent years, I think I would attribute it largely uh, to a great deal to um, a desire to become a more serious-minded person, which I attribute um, uh, to impressions of uh, other technophiles that did not really inspire me, did not think that they were, um, I don't think that there's really any uh, technologists or technophiles in the West see but a tiny tiny percentage um, who operate on this principle of um, uh, truly understanding the world of um, and of course the most important fundamental there is material conditions and um, truly understanding uh, what is necessary uh, to build a humane and sustainable world which requires a humane and sustainable economic system which requires an understanding of those who have undertaken uh, this project in the past namely scientific socialists. Um, and um, um, this, uh, another thing that has uh, uh, given me this degree of focus, I think, in, within the last year or so, is the use of um, uh, digital writing assistants, LLM-based uh, uh, writing assistants, which have become uh, quite powerful, so much so that you could say that um, with very little uh, preparation or organization, um, nearly anyone with uh, uh, some focus on these things that I've mentioned um, can generate um, high-level academic works on these subjects. Um, again, you could be half asleep, uh, lying in bed, looking up at the ceiling, and do work of that kind. Um, and this, um, um, n I'm not ashamed to admit that um, uh, this uh, uh, cognitive enhancement, uh, such as it is, is something that I kind of need. I don't think that without it, <laughs> I'd be able to um, uh, uh, even begin to do work of, of this kind. Um, um, uh, work that I uh, consider uh, uh, valuable, and I hope that people will uh, think of it as more valuable as time goes on, namely identifying uh, concepts like uh, the agentariat or AI agentic class um, rising to prominence um, and that um, is basically uh, this idea of um, um, a, a group of, of people um, downloading things that are presently available like Llama 3 um, modifiable open source LLM models and modifying them so that they are optimized for uh, working with one another uh, the uh, these this network of AI agents is, um, and uh, then with uh, relatively modest uh, human oversight um, the user uh, who may not necessarily have the type of PC that required to um, um, uh, to be uh, the, to participate most fully in this but who could nevertheless uh, be on the email uh, list uh, so to speak uh, the user could um, uh, be um, receiving a few emails a week or a day, basically yes or no questions 
uh, suggestive of the click-through process. Again, something that you could do uh, while you're half asleep lying uh, in bed looking at your phone. Um, and uh, But um, uh, this relative simplicity, uh, this uh, click-through process on the part of uh, the worker uh, would nevertheless allow, because of the increasing agency of these LLM models uh, and the larger number of them potentially uh, interoperating in this way, um, uh, this would allow for projects of great scale. Uh, I think beyond those of even um, um, a comparable uh, team of high-level professionals uh, being undertaken. Ultimately, so I've said on the show before that I think that uh, 30,000 people uh, working in this way could undertake projects that might transform a cityscape, like um, building, uh, like uh, doing the necessaries, including um, including working and enlisting the labor to uh, build a desalination plant in uh, Lagos, a coastal city of approximately 25 million that has water shortages of a severe kind, but that a novel uh, design for a desalination plant uh, might uh, mitigate. Um, uh, you can imagine all, all manner of projects transforming uh, 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 life within a city, and that if that is, say, uh, the number at which around uh, some thousands or tens of thousands or a hundred thousand um, might undertake what might be undertaken uh, by millions um, within this agent target uh, framework, and that is, well, almost anything. Um, reversing the effects of climate change, um, that um, very uh, network itself becoming the superstructure um, uh, necessary for building what would effectively be uh, full communism. Um, I do not think that that is an overstatement. Um, um, so these, um, with these AI tools today, they're uh, tending to be locked away. Um, uh, you, the, 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 a thing used by militarists, uh, Zionists, um, uh, th these uh, technologists uh, by and large, uh, they are military contractors. Uh, the people who have access to the highest level of these things um, are uh, people in the West um, who work for companies uh, like Google, which is a military contractor. Uh, Facebook and all of these are effectively a little different than military contractors. Um, and um, um, uh, these are not the people who uh, should have the most exclusive access uh, to these things. And uh, so it is heartening that the open source uh, large language model is available. And um, um, that is uh, bodes well uh, for the working class, for the transition of uh, the uh, proletariat of uh, uh, 19th and 20th century standards into um, a more agile uh, proletariat described as the agentariat uh, here and that's really the only difference there is um, greater capacities of, of those people uh, not this is not a model that's meant to really uh, supplant um, um, uh, these other models um, there is uh, no need uh, for uh, specialized training or a great deal of resources for fancy uh, uh, degrees or titles uh, for any individual to participate in this agent target model. Um, as I said, um, ideally in 2024, uh, toward the end of 2024, when I think uh, uh, AI agents will um, uh, be advanced enough and well understood enough uh, to begin to operate in this way, um, uh, ideally, a person would have to have a, a particular kind of uh, a personal computer, one with a GPU. Um, but a person with other kind of computer uh, might be able to play some role there um, within uh, that um, AI agentic network. And certainly, any individual who's interested in participating in this who doesn't have uh, that hardware um, uh, could uh, participate to some uh, to some degree there as well. Um, uh, so, um, um, you and I uh, can wield uh, these powerful um, um, AI agents uh, for uh, things beyond what we are currently imagining, in my view. As I said, um, I would think that um, 
a, a large number of people, many millions, um, um, reversing the effects of uh, capitalism's climate apocalypse is not off the table, and nor should it be ever be off the table or far from your mind, because we are uh, less than five years away uh, from a runaway overheating uh, caused by um, U.S. Uh, led and enforced capitalism's climate apocalypse. Um, and um, at that point, after five years, um, humankind will have um, uh, created a world that is will be, with each passing year, um, increasingly an inhospitable human life uh, to the point where um, many billions, if not all, of human beings uh, might become um, extinct. Um, um, uh, so this is, um, um, uh, uh, you live in a most crucial time, and we have to um, um, uh, 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 take this kind of thing uh, very seriously. Um, uh, so uh, writers uh, today, uh, um, doing what I have suggested that I have done, um, uh, using these kind of tools to uh, uh, generate um, more sophisticated content more quickly, um, uh, programmers doing a similar kind of thing. This is of, of use uh, to those individuals, certainly. It's of little um, sociological or sociopolitical impact um, relative to uh, this more collectivized phenomena that I'm trying to describe here um, and have described in terms of, in the past, uh, this agentariat. Uh, next evolution beyond this, which would be the uh, connectariat, the brain-computer interface connectariat. Uh, which would be people who are more or less doing the same thing, but uh, putting on a little hat uh, that allows them to do it more quickly. Uh, the the brain-computer interface not presumably having a self uh, or rather elective brain surgery to that end. It's probably not a good idea. That would not be a popular choice for people in my view. Um, although, who knows? Um, and um, and I'll further described in other shows that you can look up on this channel. Um, in terms of the um, United Earth Directorate, a, um, a, an idea that um, um, uh, uh, wherein um, this um, thing has become quite fast, the agentariate has become quite fast, uh, perhaps uh, taken um, numerous uh, very real steps towards ending this capitalist climate apocalypse and ending um, uh, the travails of, of, of uh, a private capital generally. And, um, and then um, advance to this uh, connectariate stage, uh, advance to this point where it is now becoming the superstructure of this world, and uh, it in and of itself is able to uh, provide services to human beings around the world in order of their need, uh, so that um, as, as we know today, there are a billion people on this planet who are born, and they never have in their entire life at least one of these uh, three things a proper shelter uh, a sufficient access to potable water or consistently uh, healthful food um, and uh, because of these conditions these billion people all uh, live a, sh a naturally short number of years and die a few years later uh, this is all owing uh, to uh, private wealth we have the resources to build a world where this is not the case but we allow private wealth to control these institutions uh, to the detriment of some significant part of the population and a much a more sizable population. Part of the population uh, survives um, uh, a little longer, but under uh, suboptimal conditions uh, as wage slaves. Um, and um, um, uh, the United States, for example, is a place uh, where most people do have access to um, not perfectly clean but generally potable water uh, but it's a place where um, approximately 60 percent of workers are in either uh, service industry or other low pay uh, uh, work and um, uh, those jobs generally are almost without fail are not uh, paying enough um, uh, to live um, and uh, that's quite intentional. Uh, it's a neoliberal, neoliberal stratagem uh, wherein uh, people um, um, do not e recognize uh, uh, their class interests or not, and are not in a position to um, 
uh, pursue their class interests uh, because they're in this wage slave system and not able to educate themselves to pursue the education that they would need or to organize or take action to uh, see that their interests are are met. And uh, this has implications, uh, again, uh, beyond uh, as problematic as it is uh, for workers and marginalized communities uh, to be in that situation. Uh, this has implications uh, uh, beyond that because uh, these are also the conditions wherein uh, the victors, uh, the fascist West, uh, to whom go the spoils, what are the spoils? In this case, it's the right to then uh, kill the entire species themselves included. Uh, this is not a brains operation, uh, private capital, and this uh, fascistic set of institutions. Uh, they're killing themselves. They have no regard uh, for your well-being or their well-being. And if you were a person in a similar, uh, more isolated circumstance, say you were being held hostage uh, by someone who said that they were going to kill you at an appointed time, um, and you uh, were able to get the upper hand and um, were uh, to take their life, uh, that would be a justifiable homicide. Uh, you would be within your rights um, in self-defense uh, to do that. And that's the situation that you and nearly everyone on earth is in uh, with respect uh, to um, these fascistic institutions, the institutions that protect private capital at their own expense and at your expense. Um, uh, so, um, again, this is um, uh, not uh, a lighthearted situation. Uh, these uh, chatbots should not be seen as toys. Uh, they should be seen as the basis for building um, um, a world uh, techno-communist uh, revolution, a cybernetic uh, a socialist uh, revolution, and um, they are getting smart enough uh, where they can, can um, operate in this way. They are easy enough to use quite nearly, uh, that um, uh, nearly anybody could uh, use them in the way that I've described. Um, <clears throat> um, if you have a GPU machine, I might recommend, if you're not inclined to uh, uh, do a lot of sort of um, GitHub and hubbing, uh, hugging face uh, kind of uh, tinkering, a programmy uh, kind of tinkering, uh, you can download an application called faraday.dev. Uh, to a PC, and it will automatically then allow you to, um, without without any real effort, allow you to download um, um, applications such as the more streamlined version of um, Llama 3, which I played with, it's pretty impressive, um, and more easily modifiable uh, models uh, than that, which may not have the same degree of capabilities as Mistral and Mixture of Mistral and others. Um, LLMs, but um, um, I think that that uh, capacity is just as is, is little as a few months away, and um, Llama 3 could very well be the basis for the thing that I'm describing. Um, uh, these, um, um, uh, these ruling elites, uh, these uh, champions of ecocide and of um, um, uh, all manner of elitist and abusive institutions, all which serves uh, private wealth, um, they are uh, frightened. They're frightened for their own lives because of their own actions, which they are unable to reverse because they have not the insights um, uh, nor the um, moral courage uh, uh, to stop doing the things that they're doing. Um, um, and um, they are thinking when it comes to uh, these uh, things like uh, the AI agent is that uh, this could be the kind of thing that would uh, transform the world um, um, and they are quite correct in thinking this but they will not be the ones uh, to transform this world uh, because uh, their um, um, their only real interest is in uh, making uh, small reformist changes that um, would not coincide with the time five-year time frame that we would require uh, to take revolutionary action uh, but uh, and of course the that reformism that incrementalism is all is always fundamentally in service to um, the protection of private wealth over the actual stated objective um, they they have no interest um, in doing that if you don't believe me uh, that um, that they these people are fundamentally incapable of doing this uh, the ruling elites the professional managerial class 
all, all of the technologists and technophiles, uh, consider that this um, um, AI takeoff um, that um, is um, uh, of which these LLMs are indicative uh, at, at, their, at an early level, uh, that this AI takeoff um, is not so different, the full automation or near full automation of uh, computing sectors is not so different from high automation and near full automation in other sectors that has occurred in the early 20th century and throughout the course of the 20th century. Uh, those high automation of sectors uh, did not um, cause um, the workers who had previously worked in those sectors or their descendants uh, to become comfortable, much less independently wealthy, uh, much less having a, a stable economic system deriving from that high degree of automation. Uh, so um, these uh, uh, technologists, uh, these professional uh, managerial uh, 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 class operatives, um, these um, uh, bourgeois and petty, petty bourgeois um, uh, functionaries, uh, they, um, they, they in, in their heart of hearts, uh, uh, they know all of this. Uh, they are, they are um, transhumanists, for example, are people who are tasked uh, with, um, and people like this, are people who are tasked with creating this kind of bizarre world, um, uh, manufacture of consent, uh, this kind of narrative, uh, wherein some socialist-like outcome is described, not actively pursued, uh, but described, um, and this uh, then uh, creates a consent uh, for the ruling elites to continue uh, the siphoning of resources and for them to assist in this um, uh, not merely flawed, uh, not merely um, dysfunctional to the point of, of genocide, but actually um, causing this grand genocide of humankind in capitalism's climate apocalypse. Uh, they would rather see themselves die than make the small uh, but necessary adjustments to the economic system uh, that would be required uh, to make this, uh, to make uh, these techno-utopian outcomes viable. Um, so I would encourage you uh, to join this AI agent uh, movement and this AI agentic class, the, join the agentariat. Um, I believe, as I said, um, uh, the training uh, beginnings of these training resources are readily available. Uh, Faraday.dev, uh, you can go to um, uh, hugging chat. Uh, you can um, begin to use these things in uh, and and study these things um, and uh, talk to people about uh, building a team. The thing that's required to build uh, this uh, AI agentic project, as described here, would be relatively little um, uh, to start. Um, having a website, um, building a mailing list and um, um, uh, building a work group uh, wherein uh, the uh, most suitable LLM uh, to be modified uh, would be identified and begun to be modified um, in these ways and uh, the actual functioning of uh, this AI agentic network would begin to take shape. Um, um, and um, we can, uh, by doing uh, this, uh, build a network of um, um, workers skilled beyond um, those of previous generations, despite uh, not having additional training, uh, despite having very little uh, work required of them, as I said, a few hours a week um, on the part of users um, uh, could build this thing uh, that would uh, perhaps um, seed providence um, and stability around the world and um, um, allow for uh, programs um, consistent with uh, the universal provision of basic services in every corner of the world. Um, uh, the tools are in our hands um, um, and we must, with every uh, passing hour and every passing day, um, uh, further wrench them from the hands of these techno-fascists uh, that I have described. This world of tech uh, may as well be short uh, for uh, techno-fascism because that's effectively who these uh, uh, people are. Um, and um, uh, but we, uh, the agentariat, are the future, uh, not the wealthy elite, uh, not these uh, uh, pe other petty bourgeois champions of private wealth. Uh, the, the rev this revolution will absolutely not be won by individuals uh, with uh, fancy AI toys. 
It is rather about the collective power of the working class uh, using these tools together in uh, novel and useful ways. Um, and if you can imagine this vast network of people, um, all with their um, AI agents uh, supporting each other's uh, work, uh, working on uh, projects um, otherwise impossible, then I think uh, you can um, begin to imagine a humane and sustainable economic system. And we can see all of this in our time. I think that for the most part, uh, all of this is an inevitability, a matter of time. But the question is, will you benefit from it? Will you be the beneficiary of a thing like um, universal super longevity, uh, wherein um, a public health service that's able to reverse uh, the effects um, of aging and illness and decrepitude um, uh, because of uh, having uh, reached uh, uh, longevity escape velocity, not for um, millionaires and mega billionaires, uh, million, mega millionaires and billionaires, as um, life extensionists are uh, working for today, but through uh, a real public health service uh, that's able to do, do those things that makes this accessible uh, to all. This is all readily achievable in the course of the mid uh, 21st century. The question remains, do we, um, are we willing to assert um, our rights in these areas? No one in history gets a thing um, without first asking for it. And, um, and the asking here uh, requires that we organize um, uh, beyond uh, the individualism of these more fascistic institutions of capitalism, uh, that we organize um, um, in this uh, scientific socialist way uh, that I believe this uh, revolutionary scientific socialism of, of this channel and of this kind of conversation um, um, uh, would achieve. Um, we have to uh, continue to support a, a larger and larger uh, a library and sets of tools for open so source um, advanced computing tools. And um, um, I think this is among the most important things. It's something that um, very few scientific socialists uh, do talk about. Um, and um, and uh, otherwise uh, reclaim uh, these kinds of tools from uh, the military contractors and uh, elites um, who uh, control them today. And these people are at a loss as to what to do with this. Um, uh, they see this thing that um, has a potential to build the agentariate and things of greater scale, and um, uh, but they don't know how to um, uh, do that because, again, they don't have the insights um, into the world around them or into the building of a humane and sustainable economic system that would be required to do this. Uh, but, of course, more importantly, because their only real concern is private capital, um, even at the expense of their own lives and the lives of their loved ones and everyone on Earth. Um, uh, things like uh, open source LMs, LLMs working in a network in this way, it's not merely about efficiency. It's about unleashing um, a human creativity and freedom on a scale never before seen. Um, and these uh, AI helpers will allow us to um, develop uh, new ideas at a faster and faster pace, uh, challenge uh, assumptions and institutional issues at a faster and faster pace, help us see uh, the world in new ways and shape the world uh, 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 to match. Um, and um, this is a future that we deserve. The, the rich, these uh, tech, tech people, short for techno-fascists, uh, want us to believe that um, AI is a threat uh, to humankind, uh, something to be feared, but that is, of course, because it is a threat to private capital, um, as in the ways that I mentioned, why so many of these things are kept under glass uh, for so long and not used. Uh, Google, an um, organization that has opened up some of this uh, uh, now to some degree, to a very limited degree, uh, has been accused of sitting on top of uh, tools of this kind, uh, more or less for this very reason. They would say it is because um, um, uh, they were concerned with the backlash um, along the line of uh, using of chatbots um, uh, being despised by people. Um, but um, the truth is uh, that uh, they are putting this kind of thing on ice um, uh, because they recognize its transformative potential. And it's uh, not a threat to humankind um, in, in the way that they describe. Uh, uh, 
this is a language of uh, private capital uh, um, uh, telling a, a narrative unrelated uh, to reality. Rather, it is a threat uh, to uh, private capital itself. We can uh, use advanced computing along the lines of the agentaria to end poverty and hunger, uh, combat climate change, and um, uh, provide other necessaries along the lines of real education and health care, including a true pro public health service that's able to treat aging as a disease uh, for everyone on this planet, regardless of income. If we get begin to build uh, this network, then we will live in this world of abundance and equality, uh, where there will be a withering away of the state, uh, replaced by this um, techno-communist superstructure, and that is a world where everyone thrives, and even these champions of private wealth, uh, who would kill themselves uh, rather than um, um, rather than uh, see those modest changes to the economic system that are required, even they will be far better off in that world. They'll be alive, for example. Um, so please uh, join this uh, techno-communist revolution. Let's take control of our future and build a world that works for all of us. Thank you.